Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Medal of Honor Airborne. Now why am I looking at this uh, pretty general first person shooter from 2007? Because it was the last of the Medal of Honor games to really be called a proper Medal of Honor game since, you know, it was about World War II. And I never thought it, but these days I'm kind of longing for a World War II shooter since, uh, the aping modern warfare thing has become so popular now that it's pretty much the shooter. And Medal of Honor went through the same thing. Uh, after this, they released Medal of Honor with no subtitle, which was basically just a less interesting modern warfare. Which might sound kind of redundant. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd go back and look at this since I never played it when it came out. Now, I've heard the uh, Steam release here has some issues, not least of all the fact that it's apparently completely censored, as in they removed all the swastikas, which has always been really stupid to me. I mean, if you're going to make a, a game about Nazis, put the swastikas in. If you're worried about offending people, maybe don't make a game about Nazis? We're going to skip the training, I think. Hope we don't die horribly. Trabber. Trabber. Ears airborne. Quiet. Our mission is here, Sicily, the village of Adanti. S2 is reporting four enemy AA emplacements positioned throughout the village. The first is located to the west, in a sector hereafter referred to as Hill Houses. The second is located just beyond the northeast gate leading out of the village. The final two are heavily defended, located on the roof of the mayor's residence recently converted to an enemy command post. This is our most current recon on the drop zone. Red markers indicate the areas of highest enemy concentration. Unless you plan to win this war on your own, I suggest you avoid them at all costs and steer instead for the green smoke flares. We move out in two hours. Dismiss. I guess this would have been the first and only Medal of Honor game where you deploy for a plane. Alright, what do we got for options here? We got a Thompson, a Car 98, and an MP40. I'm not sure why we have German weapons as options, but uh, let's go with the, car the K98. Oh, maybe we don't need one if we got the Grand, though. Let's see. Let's compare these two. K98 does more damage, but the, uh, actually it looks like it's more accurate too. Slower rate of fire, higher recoil, less ammo, but a, f I can't tell if that's a faster or a slower reload. <laughs> I guess we'll stick with the Garan then. Thompson, MP40, I'm gonna say MP40 since we're gonna have to pick it up anyway. Actually, if we're going to pick it up, let's just use the Thompson until it runs dry. And then our sidearm, Colt 45, 1911. Is that our 10 tiers of enemies? What a surprise, an aerial insertion where our plane exploded. I think this is one of the main features they tried to tout when they uh, originally announced the game. You can sort of land anywhere in the map, instead of just at a set point. So we can land right next to these guns and hope we don't die horribly. <laughs>
Okay. Now we're in the game. Enemy AAA is tearing up our inbound aircraft. All units within range of this transmission locate and destroy enemy AA emplacement. Am I hitting the wall? Is it? Oh, jeez. Looks like we got regenerating health, but I think it might be by bar and not just by, like, all of it. The guns do have a nice amount of animation, it looks like. Oh, I'm shooting the uh, friendlies. I didn't think they all landed up here with me. Apparently you just can't shoot people who are standing behind these things. We got weird hitboxes. Oh, is that a German? German, I mean Italian apparently. A little hard to tell what's going on though, with all the uh, animation on your gun. Take down this other gun, I guess. I don't know, maybe we don't have regenerating or completely regenerating health because we just picked up a med kit. A lot of crosses. There's a weird sort of lean system when you get near an edge. Basically, if I try to aim from here, it'll stick me to the wall. I always like that ping sound as it ejects the stripper clip. Another question, can I throw a grenade, as you'd expect, with G? Okay, so it, hitting G actually does equip the grenade, but you still have to manually throw it. Yeah, it sounds like you can uh, cook it. I just took out two guys there. And they told us we couldn't win the war by ourselves. Grenade's got some pretty long fuses. So far, so good. Looks like there's more guys down. Oh, that's one of our guys. More guys down here. But they up. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. All right, yeah. So we only regenerate up to our current bar down on the left there, and then we have to pick up night kids to get the rest back. I guess I can't reload with uh, the Garand, which makes sense, you can't just jam more bullets on top of them. Let's give 
that hitbox thing might actually be intentional just to make the cover more effective by making it extend a little bit past where it actually visually does. So, you know, it seems like a, a sort of typical World War II shooter. Probably the best looking one left, I guess, since it was one of the last World War II shooters made. Skill drop. Is that like an objective for next time? I'm trying to remember now when Modern Warfare originally came out. I think it was before this, and it does kind of feel a little influenced by the Call of Duty style of shooting. Oh, look, I got a gun part. That's neat. Can I not get down from the side I need to be on? Doesn't look like it. Can I just jump through the window? Totally just ninja out of that window. Oop. That did not go where I wanted it to. I'm out. Who says we need to kill everyone to get our mission done? That bobbing is sort of nauseating if you're uh, someone who gets motion checks, which thankfully I'm not. But you can turn that off in the options I saw. I will mention there's no graphics options whatsoever except resolution, which is why everything looks kind of awful up close, because there's no uh, anti-aliasing available. But since this is an EA game, I'm not really surprised it's kind of a lazy port. Alright, this appears to be a dead end. Good grenade. I wasn't expecting a suicidal rush there. Grenades actually seem kind of useful here. Oh, 
Sure give you a lot of pickups though. Just kinda lying around. I'd rather not have to kill all these guys because there's oh Jesus. There's quite a few of them. Shit, edibles. Alright, don't go out that way. Apparently there's a guy right in front of me. Oh, jeez. Knock the helmet right off. I gotta just jump kick me to death. This isn't Titanfall. And then we start the entire mission over again? Or is this just a reinforcement? Because I'm not seeing gunshots from anywhere else. That's an interesting idea, I guess, but then we don't really lose any progress when we die. Ah, what? Ah. I was about to ask if we could melee, and then I tried it and it worked. They've all foolishly abandoned their positions to come after the Americans. Oh shit, no, don't get on that gun. Oh dear. Let's see if we can just land on this thing. Actually, I'm not sure I can go that far. I'm kind of stuck to this circle here. Yep, there's an invisible wall right there that pushed me down. Well, that kind of takes away from the whole land anywhere idea. Seems like these guys kind of respawn.
At least our AI seems to be helping us this time. Well, maybe don't jump in front of my gun, idiot. I'm pretty sure those guys just spawned right in front of me. Alright, let's try a uh, not botched landing then. I'm not sure if that's because of where I'm landing or I'm just not uh, slowing down. And all these guys respond again. I think we've got this hill almost. Another marksman combination. Tell the CO we got this one. Sir, Sergeant Setzer's requesting reinforcements ASAP. <sighs> Christ, we're spread thin as it is. Okay, you and Travers go, I'll hold here. I can't stand Setzer anyway. Pretty sure standing next to that explosion would have jellified his insides. We gotta secure the rest of the town. All airborne forces within range of this transmission. Be advised that we have a platoon sized unit pinned down and under heavy fire in the northwest sector of Adanti. All units receiving this signal are ordered to proceed to that area to relieve and reinforce. Oh, that's friendly. So, you know, it's pretty much what you expect from a World War II shooter. Sort of a, a relic of a, an older time. When the beaches of Normandy were as familiar to gamers as, I don't know, all of Jurassic Park. Even this still has a lot of echoes of Call of Duty, though. Which, of course, makes sense, since Call of Duty itself was a... Uh, World War II shooter once upon a time before a little thing called Modern Warfare came along and ruined the fun for everybody. Not because it was a bad game, but because it did so well that now developers are forever chasing that money horse. Pretty much, uh, Call of Duty was to the shooter market as World of Warcraft was to the MMO market forcing everything to try to be a clone of it to, uh, you know, try to make the same amount of money. Because, I guess, marketing people don't realize that trying to sell the same thing twice is not going to make the same amount of, uh, spark. Unless it's Call of Duty. 
then they can just keep releasing it every year and people will keep buying it. Anyhow, this is Metal Bonner Airborne. Uh, it's available on Steam, I guess. Also, 360 PS3. It uh, doesn't seem anything special. It's just a shooter. But it's a shooter that's not uh, filled with the uh, Taliban yelling at you. And people yelling about 40 mic mics and RPGs and saying, uh, oh, geez, what is it? I can't remember now. That thing they say, Oscar Mike, that's what it is. And they say Oscar Mike all the time, even in context that doesn't make any sense with the way it's normally used. But anyway, that's enough, uh, on the situation of the modern shooter. This is Metal Honor Airborne. It's, a uh, it's a game where you shoot people. It took two more games after this for EA to give up on Medal of Honor and just completely shelve it. I'm kind of curious to look at the uh, the more modern one that came after this, because I've heard it's pretty fucking bad. And if there's anything I know, it's that bad games usually make for good videos. Alright, you folks all take care. Wow. It's a pretty unaffected grenade.